Grinders Lane. This is the center of Paulie's operation. The place always makes me want to kick a fucking dog. Or something. I wouldn't hang out around here if I was you, pal. I mean, there is something that just ain't right about this place. I mean, you see all the meat shipments coming in, but like nothing ever fucking comes out. I'm not making this up, man. They're probably shipping in something illegal, like a rhino meat or something, huh? Okay, check this out. There's a control box on the other side of the gate. It's on the wall, but you gotta look real close, cause it's hidden in the shadows. Let me get this straight. Holy Franchetti gets pissed off at his own nephew, sends him to collect some cash from Dino's, and then sets him up for an ambush? Exactly. He's a prince amongst men. Prince of fucking darkness, more like <laughs> So how come Mr. Cotto got away? Who the hell knows? We cornered him at the cemetery, right? But apparently he had some backup. Because when me and Johnny Bananas got there, the place was swimming in dead bodies. And, and none of them was Jackie. Oh, boy, he must have shit a brick. <laughs> Something like that. He thinks it was the old boys. Jimmy the Grave, Nicky Barucci, and them guys. But he has no proof. This one that Paulie Franchetti need proof. Some of them old guys, they still got connections with the VIPs in Chicago. I mean, even Paulie knows if he acts now, he's gonna get his ugly little clock cleaned. So in the meantime, we gotta keep an eye out for Estacado, huh? Man, what a friggin' mess. Hey, relax, huh? He wouldn't be dumb enough to show his face here. <laughs>
He's here! Better make peace with Jamaica, Estacado! Crack his shoulder! I got a big problem. <laughs> 